So here are three simple tips you can copy from the Maria Sakari service motion to help improve your serve. And the first is going to be the proper grip. Let me show you something here at the very beginning of her serve. Notice that her racket face is open. So her racket face is actually pointing up to her left. This is actually indicative of the proper continental grip. Now, as a reminder, the continental grip is when you put the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad on panel number two. So knuckle and heel pad on panel two. Now that's if you're right-handed. And I can't forget about you lefties. Your panel number two is right here. So base knuckle and heel pad, you're gonna put both of those on panel number two. That is called the continental grip. So even though this tip might seem trivial to have the racket face open, it is so important to use the right continental grip. And when your racket face is open, it's more likely that you have the continental. You see a lot of recreational players and their strings point down as they're beginning their serve. And it's because they have a forehand grip. So have your racket face slightly open. It doesn't have to be straight up in the air, but have your racket face slightly open and the chances of using the continental grip go way up. Now, don't forget, if you're looking for new players in your local area to compete against, practice with, or even find a coach to take lessons with, use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis to get 50% off. The next idea is going to be the height of your toss. I want to show you this with her serve. I want you to notice that her ball doesn't go very high. She, she has a pretty low toss for pro standards, you know, because some pros, they toss it super high. What I like is when the pro has their toss somewhere between 0.55 and 0.9 seconds. So what I do is I time the ball from the time it gets to the top of their head, which is where she is right now, to the time she contacts the ball. So she's contacting 0.81 seconds. For reference here, Federer is at 0.83 seconds on most of his serves. So it's not a super high toss. So I would highly recommend that you go out and film yourself and just check to see how long it takes for the ball to go from the top of your head right there until contact. And let me draw it. I'll draw it here on the screen. As long as you are anywhere between 0.55 and 0.9 seconds, I think that's a great range of acceptability. Obviously, if you have a really low toss, you're going to be here. And if you have a slightly higher toss than Maria, then you're going to be here at 0.9 seconds. So Film yourself and check to see if that's your to your toss timing. I think it's really easy for players to improve their serve when they have that type of toss timing. And then the last thing is actually kind of three tips in one here, but I just want to show you this position with her. First, the leg bend, right? So she's coiled her body and her body is turned away from her target and she's ready to uncoil as she comes up into the serve. But just look at her knee bend, right? So she is at her deepest knee bend, with her left arm, or I'll say her tossing arm, straight up in the air, and her racket is about to begin dropping. There are three things that should happen all at the same time. Your legs should begin exploding up, your tossing arm should begin dropping, and your racket should begin dropping for the racket drop all at the same time. Those three things are just an absolute powerhouse for your serve. You see a lot of recreational players and they wait for their racket. Well, they don't do it on purpose, but they mistakenly wait for their racket to get halfway down the drop. I've even seen recreational players and they drop the racket completely before they begin exploding up at the legs. That is not going to get the shoulder stretch that is going to give you the racket speed you're looking for. So when you go out and film yourself serving and you should be constantly filming yourself when you are playing, that way you can review the footage and compare what you're learning here on Two Minute Tennis on YouTube to what you see of your own footage. Check to see that your knees are fully bent with the racket up, ready to begin dropping with the tossing hand up high. And then your body explodes up as the tossing arm then drops and then tucks against the body and as the racket drops. So use this video, review this video over and over again. Have your racket face slightly open to make sure that you've got that continental grip. 
Don't toss the ball super high. And in fact, time your toss just to see how high that ball is actually going. And instead of worrying about actually the height in feet or inches, actually measure it when it comes to time. And again, just to give it to you, when the ball is at the top of the head or top of your head, that's when you should start the timer and to review the footage. And if you're somewhere between 0.55 and 0.9 seconds, you've got a great range there for your serve. And then make sure that when you're at your deepest knee bend and your racket tip is up, you know, this is also known as the knock the birthday hat off idea. When that tossing hand is up in the air and the knees are fully bent, those three things should happen all at the same time. The body explodes up as the tossing arm drops and as the racket head drops. You use these three concepts on your serve. There is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.